Um, obviously, we're disappointed. So uh, not making the playoffs, right? That's our kind of goal every year, right? And um, yeah, like you said, it was a interesting kind of season uh, with a lot of guys coming in and out. Uh, never kind of been on a kind of team like that. Usually, I feel like we're we're adding. Uh, I feel kind of at the deadline, and uh, you know, adding a few pieces here and there. Um, so it was a little different for me, uh, kind of almost having a new team. Um, basically in March or whatever, right, when the trade deadline kind of happened, right? So it's um, a little different, um, but uh, it's obviously a learning tool, and um, we got to learn from it and learn from kind of our, our season this year and kind of kind of be ready for next year, right? How, how would each of you, if you don't mind going separately, how would each of you assess your individual seasons? Um, yeah, I'll go. Uh, I mean, obviously... It was a tough start for me, uh, again. Um, but I think you know. I mean, we, we talked about it. But uh, after the, the new year, I feel my game got got better. And I think uh, throughout these years, I I feel like I learned like a lot of stuff. And I think my defensive game got got better since. Uh, I mean, obviously that's not what <laughs> what I'm paid for. But uh, I think it it got better and. Um, and I think you know I got put put more points. I think at the end I had a like tough start point wise, but I mean overall, I mean I want to get back to 70, 80 points. But I think uh, you know learn a lot of stuff and come back next year and, and be better. Yeah, I think uh, for me as well, it was kind of up and down kind of season for me. Um, some kind of um, games I felt uh, I was playing my game, um, tenacious, hard working. You know, in the in the dirty areas around the net, uh, creating things like that, and then other games it was just kind of wasn't there for me, right? So I think uh, for me personally, just kind of have to find kind of more almost consistency kind of in my game, and um, yeah, and just kind of learn from it, right, and be ready to play kind of every every game, right? And um, that's I think uh, I'd say my biggest kind of takeaway from uh, from the season. Nothing. Do you, do you feel like you, you re rediscovered your swag or your confidence this season? Um, yeah, I would say, I mean, I had some way more spark. I mean, this year with uh, confidence with the puck, I got some really good games. I think it's just to find that consistency, you know, over overall, because I had some really good games. I was like, here you go. You know, that that's that's the old Johnny. <laughs> but uh, the, it's just to, to find that, you know, throughout the, the season and be like that game after game. December. We know only results in one point for you, but it's just there were some struggles there. And can you kind of take us through what it was like going through those struggles? Yeah, I mean, I was grabbing that stick really tight in December. <laughs> it's uh, you know, obviously I went like I think pointless in 12 games. I think in that that span, but. It was uh, it was it was hard. Obviously, you know, you're not getting any points, but I, I felt like you know in that span I was getting chances. So at least you know that was the positive of it. And then after it just kind of you know like I said I think after that new year I just you know it was going in and stuff like that and the plays were were being made. So I just proved to myself you know that I can I can still do it. And I think you know that the confidence is is back and it's it's good to to see, but. I say I think I still got way more, and it's uh, but it's good to to get that confidence back, you know, to to go into the the next year, and you know, as a team, we wanna we wanna win. So, Jonathan, there there's a bunch of teams starting the playoffs, and a couple of nights that it, you know are kind of looked to as evidence that a, a retool or a rebuild can work, and then there's a bunch of teams that are missing for the whatever time that are evidence that it can be really tough. What? What has to happen here for this to be sort of a successful cruise through a retool or whatever you're calling it? Yeah, I mean, I think it's, I don't think they want to, I mean, like I said, it's it's a retool. I think it's not a rebuild. It's it's something, I, I mean, we're, sometimes it works like that business-wise. You know, we lost some guys that contract, you know, you, you can't. It just happened as the business side of it. But I think for now, we know we like our group. We like what we have. And I think, you know, it's gonna be up to the, the GM, you know, if they want to add little little pieces this summer, you know, come back and I think you know we show a lot of resiliency this year, you know, with, with everything that happened. So that shows a lot about our team. And I think we can, you know, we, we want to get right back into playoff, you know, 
next year. That's important for us. You know, we don't want to wait and be in the, like I said, in the rebuild. I think it's kind of retool, and I think we, we really like our team. And so, sorry, can I just follow up on that really quick? It, what makes playoffs, do you think, a realistic goal for next year? What gives you optimism? Yeah, I think with, I mean, I think the core group we have, I think we we can make that happen, and I really believe in that. I mean, you know, we saw this year a lot of guys got milestones. You know, it's good to see in here, but I think overall we want to make we want to make the playoffs. And I think with the core group we have, and I think with the young guys that are coming up, you know, we saw some good things. And I feel like throughout the year, next year, it's going to be important that we all pull pull together. And I I really believe that we can get back and playoff. Have you had any conversations with Craig Conroy about what the retool looks like? Uh, <laughs> not not really. I mean. No, I mean I might uh, get on the calls to to see what it looks like, <laughs> but uh, <and laughs> I mean <laughs> I think it's it's up. I mean that's their job, right? So I mean we're we're there to to play hockey and you know give everything we have, but at the end of the day they're gonna put all the the right pieces that we can so we can be successful. Andrew, you, you're weirdly enough sort of one of the longest serving guys now on the team, and over the last couple of years we've just seen so many of your former teammates move on. Yeah. Um, do you think that there's a perception at this point that guys don't want to be here and, and how easy is that to fix? No, I don't think, honestly, I don't see it like that at all. I think um, those guys that left um, had whatever personal issues or family matters that they wanted to kind of attend to or things like that or, you know, contract wise, they want to be, you know, they, you get traded or whatever it is, right? So I don't, I don't think it's a um, a lack of people don't like playing in Calgary or anything like that. Uh, I think, from my understanding, I think um, everyone kind of liked Calgary and everyone thinks Calgary is awesome, right? I think, um, I don't know. I don't know. I can't kind of speak for our, everyone kind of leaving and all that, but um, I don't see it like that. I, I, I love Calgary. Uh, I think it's a great place, great place to play hockey, great fan base, uh, great organization. Um, there's a lot, lot to like, and a lot of kind of up and coming. You get a new rink and things like that. That'll, you know, hopefully, um, you know, entice people to kind of come and to stay and all that, right? So I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't, can't say much on uh, why they left or anything like that. But um, yeah, I can't, can't see it being any reason uh, that they don't like Calgary or anything like that. And you're, you're, you're heading into the last year of your contract. Is, is Calgary a place you could see yourself long term? Yeah, for sure. Um, I think Calgary is a honestly great place to play. I love it here. Um, it's uh, it's been home for me, my, my second home, really, right? So um, we'll see, kind of, I guess what happens uh, here in the in the future and everything like that. But yeah, definitely um, like Calgary and see what happens, right? What, um, what maybe has to happen in the sense of making this a destination franchise where, where guys are are willing to, to come? Like, like what, what has what can change or what can happen for that this to become a destination franchise? I mean, I think you know it's just to get some. I think it's a good place. I mean, you know, obviously I'm coming from came to from Florida, uh, so you know the weather and everything, but. And Calgary is a great city. You know, since I've been here, I think the people, community, you know, everybody's really, I mean, I never really lived, you know, Canadian hockey. And it's, you know, it's nice to see everybody's kind of involved in everything, community and stuff like that, and the fan base. So I think, you know, I think it's as player to, to try to get some guys, you know. Sometimes, you know, like you said, you hear some people don't want to come here. It's an older building and stuff like that. But. At the end of the day, it's whoever is in the locker room, yeah. and that's why we want to. You know, we're gonna obviously if some guys. You want to go get, you're gonna get some calls, and you want to attract them. There was a, there's obviously disappointment with missing the playoffs, but this today, compared to the same day a year ago, um, it does feel different. There, there doesn't seem to necessarily be the same negative energy. Um, am I right about that? And what do you attribute to that? I, I think it's. Ex expectation too as well I mean I feel like you know <laughs> the year before I feel we, we should have made the playoffs and there was not as much expectation with like losing a lot of guys this year and stuff like that but yeah. and I feel like today we kind of swallowed that pill earlier you know than than, la than the year before so 
and it's not it's not fun to be in that situation. I mean, you don't play all season to be out of the playoffs, so that's why it's important for us to believe that you know that we can get back in uh, into the playoff playoff run uh, to next year. Andrew, how'd the shoulder hold up this year, and were you limited at all? Yeah, no, it was uh, it was good. Um, I think I was a little limited, kind of maybe to start the season, uh, maybe just with kind of strength and just trying to build that back up. Um, but yeah, um, stable. It was good. Uh, a lot better than I guess last season. So um, I still think that there's maybe strength and little things like that to kind of grow, and that's what uh, I'm excited for is just to kind of have a healthy kind of off season and get back to my regular training uh, schedule and working out and kind of gaining everything back. Have either of uh, you been contacted by Canada for World Championships, and would that be something you consider if so? Yeah, um, I was asked. Um, I'm still kind of deciding. I kind of wanted to just kind of finish off the season, season, uh, make sure my my body was you know healthy and uh, ready to go. And uh, yeah, I think I'll be uh, making a decision next day or two here. So uh, I gotta talk to my fiance, parents, and all that, and uh, see what happens.